Hello friends, this is the second part of the video uh, MIPS as in Lib Programming So last time we I discussed uh, the template for the MIPS program So we always gonna have dot data, dot text and then main So it should look like this and any variable goes here and then the program code instruction everything will go here okay so today I'm gonna do take user input and do some arithmetic with the input so I'm gonna calculate difference of two numbers so first so we have the data dot data and these are the variables so you can have this is optional um so I have four variables here from to one from two and then result and new line okay so first I want to print the prompt yesterday I showed you how to print a string okay today it's gonna be same thing just uh, I want to load the address of prompt one for this variable and load the address into a zero register okay um and then give instruction to print that will be four and then i do the syscall okay let's see how only this four line work we're, we're going to go line by line today um where is the okay i'm gonna have a okay i'll load it okay this is for single step all right look at this i'm here one two three four so i'm in the main now okay jail main so it is okay it's going to here load address prompt one into a zero register so this side we have the a zero register yeah this one so notice the a0 value is 1 okay but when I load the address of the prompt this value will change okay so second click R. this is the address for this variable so it's load the address now I'm in the this instruction I'm saying 4 so v0 value will change to 4 okay so the v0 is 4 now i'm doing the syscall okay system call so it will print the okay first interface number so now it's, it's printed here okay, let's see and now i'm in this line where i'm saying 5 Five for getting input from user. Let's see. One, two. Okay, it's asking the user input. I'm gonna give fifteen. Okay. So now I'm in the move command. Move command is copy the um, B zero value into T zero. Okay. So now here T zero is zero. So if I go one more line. Okay, now T0 is 15. This is a hexadecimal number 15. Uh, F. F is 15 in decimal. Alright. And then if I go again, we'll ask for a second number. Print the second number 10. So the second number will save into T1 register right here. All right, the second number T1. Ten. Now T1 is 
a so a is hex number so that's good that's the 10 okay in decimal so in the code where so what I did I printed I executed these three lines and then I executed these two lines these two lines is took the um, user input and then I did copy the v0 into t0 and then print the second message again these three lines and then it took a one input from user this, this two line code does the input taking and then move command copy the v0 into t0 again and this is the line where we are doing the math okay after doing the math so you're gonna print the result okay let's do the whole thing together so you get 25 10 the result is 15 